guaranteed the distance here in the series. So throw something a little bit different their way. As we fan on out, we'll see Tabson and Gate over towards Connector, Sirius and Window, Keto towards the B Apartments, and Tizian backing him up. 1x bed odds are still favouring Na'Vi, but it's starting to tip in Big's favour. That one isn't. Molly, P250 combo, brutal. As Gate yeah. goes down too. There you go. Well, there's the headshots, Alex. We love the headshots. Bitten headshots. It's kind of his thing. Yeah. Keto could rumble the whole plan if he took more than one. One insufficient and Bit knows where you are, Tizia. And he's snappy, isn't he? Can't find the head as much as he'd love to as they both sit there and reload in front of each other. He's trying Which to get the angle, trajectory, uh, uh, trajectory. How do I calculate it? Oh, he's hmm. gone. Yikes. At least he's thrown all his nades. They don't get to use them. Oh, no, they get the flash. We want the flash. Yeah. Give me the flash. Give it to me. Simple. You wouldn't go for that. Actually, a knife would be pretty sick in the pistol. Damn you, Tizian. He's evaded the extra 1,500. Oh, Bit picked up a smoke and a flash there. So handy little pickups on the way out the door for Bit. And that's more like the Na'Vi we are expecting. The P250 of Simple finding some impact on this T-sided pistol. Didn't happen over there on Dust 2. They were actually quite neutered on their T-sided pistol of Dust 2. Just want to take a quick moment to remind everyone that if you're not being a Hydra homie today, you should be. If you're getting a bit frowny, if you're shouting at people or being a bit snappy, maybe you're just dehydrated, bro. Or sis. I think most of us are dehydrated. Oh, yeah. Well, pretty much all the time, I think. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Looks like Boomich is up to his usual antics on Mirage. He's going to be holding W towards Connector a lot. So. Tizian. Oh, a preemptive smoke that actually fills me with some confidence for this Peter defense. Yeah, here we go. They're in. And they're out. Na'Vi! Oh, dear! Completely evaporate. They're nothing but vapor in the air. A fully bought up squad, and already frustration's gonna start bubbling up. Big Clan. Fight back with a vengeance. Yikes. I, I kind of want to let Bit have a crack at this, but the, the problem is the bomb down, the AK, the 4 HP. Yeah, look, it's really just a save call, isn't it? It's unfortunate, and uh, I really want to put a lot of credit on Tabson there. Because he went hyper aggressive in middle again to take out Boomich before he could get that space, they left Navi without any options unless they wanted to play a really drawn out round, and apparently that wasn't what Boomich wanted. So he went down, they ran in towards B, and there was a lot of big players on the scenes with that utility as well. So well handled. Yeah, I mean, I do think that the smoke reaction out of Tizian as well was was compulsory. Dropping that smoke, bouncing it off of the, the wall by the van, completely nullified any control they would have and should have had. I, I, we're going to get it in the replay, but just watch Tabson just ballsy run out mid on, yeah. on Boomich. It's like he knew that it was just Boomich, which is fair enough. It was pretty much just Boomich yesterday. Sure, I think he had a helper in bit with him in some of those rounds. But the CT side was where Big booked Na'Vi on Dust 2. It was. And maybe that same... I, I'm, I'm really cautious to use the word anti-strat, just because I know it's a very topical word at the moment. Uh, it could be maybe like anti-methodology. Yeah, precisely. I mean, if you've really taken a look at why Na'Vi's T-sides bang so hard on Dust2 and Mirage, and you feel like you've found a way to dis disrupt that, it's going to lead Na'Vi into this nasty situation where you have to basically create a new game plan Otherwise, you're going to keep running into the big clan soul. Yeah, I think it might, like, because a big part of this, Yanko was talking about yesterday, was Na'Vi running around looking like they're just full of confidence, and that's why they're winning half of the fights they're winning and being able to get into those positions, just because it, they believe that they yeah. are going to win those battles, right? So what you're going to do is if you take that away, and that's let's say that's the A game that run, Na'Vi is running with, they'll have to go to their B or their C game, which is either we go slower, we're a bit more strat heavy, you know, they, they have to try and work out what they can get away with instead. Underpass. Oh, and the flash. They were ready for both of them. Yeah, he's just fighting. This force buy cancelled by Tabson. A weapon recovered, thankfully. They'll juggle that around, Boomage to equip it. But look at Tabson. He's ready to will he's ready and willing to completely engage in anything they want to throw down towards this underpass. Confident flash stuff. Check. I don't see any. But they have put the AK on simple, and he's the one that they ask to test the water. Oh, just as Tabson gets himself closer to the monitor, simple will put him down. And so Na'Vi make it clear that they plan to contest. They know there's an AK in play. Make it two now Tamson's AK's fallen into enemy hands. I suppose the problem is the lack of head armor, right? So going up against the Galil and the Mac 10 still going to be a difficult task here. They're going to need to be shooting first. Feigning presence now with that deep connector smoke and 
Boomich looking to weasel his way around it. But the rest of the Na'Vi members look like they want to finish over towards B. Boomich, oh, a bit clumsy there with the movement, but he's been, or should have been noted. He is still going to make it into window. He's flanking B. They don't know this is coming right now. No yeah. one's looking. No one's popping. Dizian did so well in the anti-force. Boomich is behind, and what a flank that is out of Boomich. Clumsy, maybe, but Na'Vi have fought back. Fire with fire. Tizian still a threat with the Mac 10. He lives on. Swaps the Deagle. Needs one more bullet to finish the job. On to perfect, so he can't do it. Where's the bomb? It's going down. Simple, just in the nick of time. We'll get it planted. And what a recovery from Na'Vi. They lost the opening frag there. That's a 4v5 turnaround. And the jostling for control of the economy. Oh, Gade, he wants to leave, but Perfecto just chips away three different clicks to secure it. Yeah, go get that AK if you can here, Perfecto, and that would be a fantastic way to net up round number three. Sirison looking to save this scout, but it all started so well. The confidence of Tabson getting them the opening, taking down the saved AK and head armor of Bit, but that confidence ended up being his undoing, and well, then the rest of the round followed with it. They left some massive gaps. Boomich exploited it. Looked like he had made too many sound cues to get away with that one for free, but nobody close enough to hear the audible. Bomb goes off. AK's retrieved. And Na'Vi, well, they have to be happy with this now. Have to just weather the storm of a potential big force buy again. Yeah, so much of Counter-Strike comes down to when your planned move is being executed and mm. what your opponents are dealing with at the time. I do think as soon as you, like, regardless of what noise Boomich is making, when there's three bodies and the, your molly in the apps has been extinguished, just reflexively, you are going to be drawing attention to that B side. It did open up the window for a Boomich flank. Oh, okay. Big have opted here not to force buy. They've uh, already conceded the force by wars, so they're just a partial upgrade. They will be able to fully purchase in the next round with the loss bonus. Still going to be tight, but it'll be better than what this round would have reflected. Seriously, so scout's already been peppered on down. Three Deagles, no armor on those, and a bit of a slower pace this time round from Na'Vi. Oh, oh my oh. lord, Tapman has been great. He's gotten the first kill in Connector three rounds in a row now. <laughs> That's more than you could oh, know. No, no. Come on now. No, no, no. What's going on here? Na'Vi, this is not how it's supposed to go. Perfecto having to address the script, but Keto throws him straight out of the play. Oh, and Electronic, they took a big, big chunk out of you. I think that was a scout shot to him. And Keto will finish the job. Okay, Big Clan don't even need to invest, I guess. Oh, they are sitting in such a perfect position now. Uh, with the little huh? investment that they just made, their buy is going to be beautiful. AKs with head armor. You can get yourself the orb for Cirrus, and everybody has the util. The kits are in play, and Na'Vi are left scrambling again. They're going to try and go for another thrown-together buy to keep the Force Buy Wars continuing, even though, I, I guess, technically, they've already concluded. Yeah, and Tabson, you, you're highlighting him and his stats in terms of what he's been contributing in those openings in mid. It might deter Na'Vi from continuing to try. Look, Boomich is only going to go and drop a single nade. No one wants to test out the Searson Orp or the Tabson rifle. Uh, the, the key thing is, when Tabson gets that... Oh, okay, okay. Bro. This is going to be a weird game. You oh. already tell this is going to be a weird game. Look at Gade as well. They just want to fight, right? I, I think Yanko's on to something with the way that Big are approaching this. Like, whether it's the gamble stacks or whether it's playing with risk, they're, they're doing it, right? They want to just take some fights here. They don't want allow, to allow Na'Vi to play their game. So if this just turned into a Biffy Brawly A match... It is. And actually, Tizian's got three oh backs Lordy. turned right now. Oh, Lord. oh dear. It's turned around again. <laughs> what is this game? Now Keto's taken it into his advantage, and he will convert. Big Clan respond. Searson went down so aggressive. What was that? That was a 2v5. Yeah, it was. That was a 2v5. And now you've already lost an eco. We're five rounds in, Chad. Oh, dearie me. Let's see this again. Like, he, he can't believe his luck. Simple and Perfecto get two. Make it three, because Gade's there as well. Two players remain. And they lose it. And they lose it. Okay, like, there is a salt mine worth of salt in the Na'Vi boot camp right now. That's such a huge turnaround, and it's the opposite for Big. You know they are feeling the mojo. They're starting to realize that, guys... Dope. Simple onto the Deagle. Their turn to try with just the pistols. And look at this. Surely they know they're against an Eco. Sirius just in no man's land with the AWP. It's like he didn't have any help there. You know... I, th I think you're genuinely onto something. I think the interview would be really interesting if we can ask as to what the game plan, quote-unquote, was. 
and how it di differentiates from what it normally is. Yeah, they're just fighting. It's it's look different look for big, but why not? Why the hell not here? They're showing confidence in their individuals. Yeah, but that's so far from how they used to maneuver. I mean, it. It was I, quite a technical team. It was, but the conversation about how everyone having to fill some of the, the void that Zantaris' departure has left, maybe this is a good way to just prove to yourselves that you can. Uh, everyone take fights. If you're, feeling, if you're feeling it, just go for it a bit more loose. And it stops them from being this rigid CT side that Na'Vi get to pull and poke and prod around the map. When Na'Vi's Mirage is working well, Chad, do you know those, like, there's that they do those late like apps util and B and then end up with three crawling out palace to a single isolated uh, deagle on the default box. I mean, we've seen how good their T side can look. Let's see how it feels now as the entire squad goes B. Yeah, so Boomish is going to try and sell another one of these mid fakes here. He needs to get something for his troubles. He flashed across, has gotten the room, about to be mollied out of position. Extinguish is in play and. If they do head B, it is just Tizian on his lonesome right now. Simple lining up a smoke. Yeah, this could be very quick, very decisive. So on, Tizian. Only Tizian. Only Tizian and still damage inflicted. He's trying to keep him at bay, caught through the smoke, and now surely Big Clan wants to succumb to this one. From short, already bullets are landing. They're on notice. That looks like a really good incendiary from Tabson. That's going to force them into weird open positions as the smoke starts to fade. Tabson books electronic. Kitchen open for business. Too many men around the chaos of the smoke. And Simple looks like he's done enough to secure it for Na'Vi. Gate got so many things to clear. He can't it. find the head. Full commit. Searson's there and Give aggressive. It go. Why not? Giving it a look in. Tagged up by one. Simple just stands his ground. Solid conversion. Na'Vi, which is an all-in B. Yeah, so right there, the gamble from Big, they just didn't have their players in the right position. In all these other rounds, they've had multiple members in mid really willing to contest. They've been sweeping on through as a team, and everybody just hitting their shots. This time, out-positioned and out-maneuvered by Na'Vi. Four to three. And the double orps brought on out immediately in response by the Germans. So, Sirison, we know. Keto, secondary. Their buy is still looking pretty here, and they've only invested in one defuse kit on Tizian. So keep your eyes on that if we find the bomb going down again. Aggressive, of course. Of course. And this time, kept even. Look at the, the Searson orb. It's so hyper aggressive. He's going for more. Oh, he might get it. He might get it. Electronic just sent to the Shadow Realm. Searson returns the advantage to Big Clan's domain. He slips away as well. So the fact that he's been able to get all that impact early, keep up his life, they still have to worry about his AWP, and they don't know that the secondary of Keto's is uh -oh. currently over towards that B site. Oh, Simple was waiting for that the whole time, and Searson lives on. He's been given a new lease of life. Elsewhere, Boomich puts his name in the feed. Oh, well, they know two orbs now. Oh, you're right. You're right. That'll just put a lot of pressure onto the rifle of Tizian as well to be in the right place when they strike. Sisson in oh. his blind spot. Oh. Boomich is crawling up. Boomich should have this. He should. He's played it to perfection, just managing his angle. Slips under the net. And down goes Searson's orb. Advantage Na'Vi. Simple stir in that palace. Last spotted tagging Searson. Look at Tizian's push, though. He they hears, it. He, hears it. he steps. Keto, you've got to react. Find a safe haven now. Oh, the timing, Tizian. the timing, the timing. No, oh, oh, and he God. chooses to strike. Now pressure, it's going to catapult Perfecto up the ramp. They're going to be rushed in this. Keto can get one. Oh, he knows they're both ramp side. He's in a perfect position to deny. One on the cross is down. Simple got nothing to show for it. He has at least bought time for the Perfecto plant. Down on the default. Tizian coming in from ramp. Perfecto, he's been good for clutches in their first head-to-head. -head. Can he pull another one out of the bag? 1v2. Narvi to be broken here. Hits a present, smoke as well. Tizian crawls, Keto clears. And that's the fight. Tizian wins it out, and Big Clan say play on. Big fines for the Berlin International Gaming. They're being naughty here, right? They're playing outside of the orthodox Counter Strike, right? They're just being aggressive. They're taking pushes. They're taking a lot of risks right now, yeah. and it's punishing Navi. It's leaving Navi in these scenarios where they're trying to course correct by like going for their own overreactions to take the space. They're falling straight into the traps that are being laid here. And even with this kill, it felt like Boomage had done enough, just getting caught on their way to A. Not ready for that flank. And yeah, Perfecto, once he plants, he can't move because he knows the orbs over towards jungle or connector side, cannot try and transition. He knows the flank's coming in. It comes down to hitting those shots. So frustration definitely starting to build over there for Na'Vi now as they've gone into a half-buy. Yeah, minor details as well costing them there. 
Like, simple, you, could, you saw Keto went down, like, lost vision the second he pulled the trigger. Like, if Simple had waited one second before he jumped across, chances are you got a very flash Keto. The tiniest of separating details. A long range Tech 9 has put Searson's Aggie Orp in the dirt. Tabson decides he's not quite done. They continue to contest and, and they maintain control. Tabson's going to push all the way up. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Once they know where you are, they just want to kill you. Yeah. Bloodlusting. A tiny gap. Gade's going to do his best to try and catch a glimpse of the electronic cross. He is all on his own, though. They're trying to sell a bit of an A fake here, and it's working. You don't need to over-rotate. Tizian, he's well-trained. He'll... Oh! Uh-oh. That's only going to sell them even more so. Now, there's no one else home. There's no one else home. Tizian realizes his mistake, but it's too late. He evacuated. And now the bomb can go down. There's no way he's going to be able to contest that. Some space taken, and Simple's Deagle is deadly. Big. An unarmored deagle on simple. A man advantage for big. Two up short. Now imagine time is Navi's best friend at this point. Could be a smoke on the bomb here as well. He's going to go for the denial. Just hiding in plain sight. Perfecto the distraction in apps. And already he reveals himself. Perhaps a little premature. He does go down. Now Perfecto for the denial. He's got a dance around the side. If he hits this shot, he can deny it. Oh, oh, he didn't he swing. He didn't right click. It was oh, no. right in front of him. Holy schmoly. Perfecto nearly with another 1v3 out of oh. bloody nothing. The reposition, he made it so he had a shot. Oh, he picked up the M4, so he pulled that out instead of going for the knife. Is that what happened? Oh my god, I thought he had the most incredible little 1v3, little Assassin's Creed out. He didn't right click. He swapped. Oh. He swapped. He had the back right in front of him. Oh no. Yikes. And then he did, does get that knife kill as a consolation prize, but yeah, that's going to sour the mood. He has no idea how close he got. Underpass push. He's tried this so much. <laughs> Let's just go in again, shall we? Bit. Oh, oh the timing. How is this happening? What he gets game? one? What video game is this? Tizian behind goes down. What is going on, Chad? <laughs> Searson just sold his boy out. Okay. It's not Searson. I mean, they've got the, the gif of him playing the game, <laughs> but it, it's someone, I don't know who they've hired. Okay. The underpass orc, the standard setup, I guess. Yeah, they're the... really just frazzling Na'Vi. Look how desperate this seems. Like, he's hoping that it's... there's nobody towards A, that they're towards middle. Uh, they're just running into this. Oh, yeah. I mean, they'll get a plan. Oh, Keto is good for that. Uh-oh. Tagged up a little heavily, but we've been here before. Simple and Perfecto with better guns this time. Bomb has been planted. Oh, he's already slipped close. Oh, and an uncharacteristic miss. Suddenly the frags are there. They are very low. Big clan could let this slip away. Simple's already relocated, and Keto with only an orb trying to hunt. Perfecto fires off a warning shot. He knows and suspects the Simple's there. Now mantled over the smoke should have an advantage. Perfecto more impact. One on one. Simple very low, but he will hit the shot. Na'Vi recover courtesy of Perfecto's dig. Okay, there we go. Now they've been able to humble big, right? Finally. That close round from Perfecto, only one surviving, then following it up, actually getting across the line. The scoreline's still bloody close. It's just the way that big are approaching this right now is scary because they just want to take these fights, but they will not be able to do so right now with rifles. Can't believe Bit still gets one there. That is wild. Keto feels like he's been able to salvage the site, but Perfecto with a nice shot and Simple with a few of his own here. So the duo, they do get one out of the two clutches converted. And I think Perfecto now three rounds in a row has been involved in... Oh, Tabson has just done it again. Tabson has just done it again. That was a ramp. He just drive by a ramp with a deagle. <laughs> Wait, these rounds for Na'Vi feel like the hardest ones to win. Just the upgrade. They've already they've got the AK. Gade pushed A-Ramp. He has the AK now. And this is where Na'Vi have just scrambled and fallen apart. Yeah, what they got for the B defense? They've, they've been exploited a little bit. Two rounds in a row, they've been playing retakes on that B site. Tabson, he's still patrolling. I think he's got a good idea what well, you're up to, Bit. Don't fall foul to another Tabson Deeg. Simple's joined them in mid, so they are going to progress on this. And I think Tabson's been spotted out. Bit does take and demand some control. Oh, what? <gasps> How does he beat He's just Bit? so cocky. Like, he's just forcing the issue on these fights. Tabson is feeling himself right now. Oh! He is really feeling oh, himself right now. Jesus Christ. 
they have they have a they have a, a, a three man number advantage and they're still pushing the issue top mid. This is just some crazy oh, stuff. Wow, yeah, and Searson scouts in the right place at the right time as well. Perfecto doesn't fancy his chances here. This is just to get the bomb back. This is just for the bomb. There's a gap. Searson will fire off a pot shot. Perfecto with the first and the second required. Can he bail Navi out of trouble? 20 seconds to high pressure scenario, but another one from Perfecto. Tapson's gonna break his desk if after all of that hard work, Spotted. he knows where Time's you are. A problem. He's locked in. Persistent has to survive. The Molly will force him out though. Oh, it's not deep oh. enough. Oh, How's no. he gonna do? He has to go for the fight. Perfecto has to go for the fight. He has to strafe in. And he's on Molly. He and he's on Molly. Oh, no. no. I actually don't get it. I've I've never cast a game of Counter-Strike like this. Big Khan and Navi. It's the most fruity of the the bunch. I mean, look at this. Five, uh, he has to push. He's strafing into his own flame. Searson has to hit a no-scope out of nowhere, and he does. He was flustered right there. The flubbed Molly. I reckon yeah. Searson's dead to rights if he didn't go a little deep on the flames. Oh, uh, he, yeah. Look Jesus, at them. Joseph and Mary. You'll never guess what they're doing. Pushing. And Searson surely going to over get overwhelmed here. He's, he's pushed the relationship too far. It's even trades, but that should favor Na'Vi, right? Uh, I mean, I, look, if they weren't on like a pistol buy, sure. I think Bit being super, I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. They're just going to push, aren't they? Big are going to push somewhere. Yep. Watch Tizzy and just decide, I'm going to push B Apartments. And Gabe jump through window and Keto rush T-Spawn. Something's going to happen that's strange. <sighs> Can't take your eyes off this one for a second. Yeah, this is something else. It's like, oh, do you know what it could be? And as I discussed by the desk already, like they know they've got Nuke in the back pocket. Yeah. And you said it like on the pistol, Chad, you were like, why not just- Just do it. But, but hit Na'Vi with all of the like online of extra confidence, <laughs> you know, like all of that extra pep. Like Searson, killing someone close ramp and then proceeding to Close clear the palace walk up as the solo A defending off. I don't know, man. Like, big clan, like, they, they know they have that fallback of the third. Why not just throw the most kooky counter strike at Na'Vi? And by the time they've kind of sussed it out, it's too late. Yeah, well, this round right here could actually be that determining factor, right? This is going to give Big the half, which I don't think we would have really been thinking coming into this, seeing it's a map that they've been banning. So, Keto now can secure it. He's under the balcony that. Jumping on in front, that's the first. Just has to delay now, Keto does go down, but Gate is here. Oh, and that smoke's really good from him. It's gonna set him up for success, and the spray denies. They have to plant Boomich under so much scrutiny. Bullets from Tizian and Gade. Gade can't finish the meal, and Boomich lives on. He says, play on. Oh, and he's managed to maneuver quite nicely. A chance presents itself quickly removed by the Tizian MP9. And now they'll go find themselves some extra rifles to pick on up here because it's not like bigger out of the woods just yet, right? Their money situation is still quite average. Uh, the fact that these rounds have been so close, the fact that they're keeping it competitive, the fact that they are winning now eight to four, that's the conversation. And it's the way that they're doing it. I don't think they even need to cool off from this because Na'Vi still haven't really relented in their approach. Sure, they've changed up. Okay, we might send a couple more players here we might send a couple more players there but it's working right these aggressive maneuvers are working so why stop yeah absolutely i mean this is right up my street take the fight to the attack completely disrupt anything you had intentions of starting the round with you know how we talk about counter-strike like it's a puzzle and reactions here and give and take well they're not they're not giving they're no. just taking right now and uh, look jumping down again aggression once more i think like if normal counter-strike that we watch every day is a cafe. Oh my lord, I'll come back to it, because hang on. Searson's aggression has been kept honest. They know top mid is present and occupied by an RV. Simple's striving to clear out any aggression, but they have already just completely rescinded that. But as I was trying to say, the Counter-Strike we typically watch, Chad, is a cafe. Okay. And the Counter-Strike we're watching right now is a cat cafe. I see. No, in terms so of the variation, smells. well, it's it's stinky. It's weird. There's a lot of new people here that I don't plan to see again. Hair all over. Definitely hairy. So now Big have gone for the aggressive maneuver out the gate. They've been able to find themselves in a four on four, and now they're playing standard CS. This is the closest it's come to a typical Navi T round. They're going to go back to A. Majority through Palace typically works wonders for them. And Mirage, a big clan 
ban. One out on the defense, and if they could find double digits, Chad, I, I would genuinely start to believe that Na'Vi are going to have this whole group thrown up into, into a bit of a question mark. Yeah, I think, yeah, double digits compulsory here for Big if they want to take the win on this map. The half win is great, but our expectations were low. Here comes the A hit. Smokes are in. Oh, another one for Gade. Keto has been given an absolute gift there. Another miss Molly. And Tizian all the way from downtown has caught one on the, the connector walk up. Here comes Keto. You won't be saving today. See you later, Alligator. The long range spray all the way to Tetris. Beautiful stuff. That's nine. Navi busted in the bank department. And those double digits becoming more and more likely. This is. So uh, we control the simulation. As soon as we say, oh, Navi, you know, for once, not going off to those slow starts because they've, they've, they've committed to the boot camp. They've, does it all still stand? We're just giving that this is an extra big clan chapter yeah, interacting they, with it. They are, they're playing outside of the expectations. Yeah. Right? So they are, they've gone, okay, well, yep, this is the case. Everything we stated is true. Yep. Uh, what can we do to change that narrative? Throw some crazy Counter Strike at them. Show that, hey, look, we can aim too. You know, we can hit some headies. Believe it on certain things and pass things through in English to yeah. Centaurus. Well, now he doesn't have to do that anymore. And if you guys don't remember Tabson when he was on like NRG with Gobby, Legia, PTR, Fugly, that, that type of a team. Yeah, yeah, good right? shot. We're talking back in season four or season five. Tabson was the superstar player of that team. Yeah. He was dropping 30 like every game. Now, that's probably a little bit of over exaggeration there but my point is he is a, a star fragger yeah. and we're seeing some of that right here today we saw some of it on dust 2 just the other day and i don't think navi have an answer for it just yet ct side still to come how frustrating is this though you go and spend all your resources and time clearing middle and for once they're not there well they have changed their tune right i was talking about why stop the aggression i guess navi had to bend the knee first they didn't change anything up but now they are it's these slow crawls they're gonna go back towards a one more time and there's three players on a to deal with this Sirison from Ticket, one on the balcony and one under the balcony. Boomich to fake B with a single smoke, maybe even commit his whole life. Gade actually could get caught out here, won't be able to return and there's ramp clear, he's gonna have to stay close. What did I think? Oh, oh quick from Simples D, and oh, a dink out of the Na'Vi boys. Tapson stands strong for the double, but this should be all over. I mean, Searson's alone. He'd love to deny that plant, He's gone unannounced so far, and Simple's only got one HP. Not that that's much of a factor. It might be now. Bit's been caught out. Simple looking for that safe haven to plant. Could get banged here. And yeah, they are firing off shots, and Keto's hit it. Big are going to take it all away from Na'Vi. Boomich has brought it into a 1v1, but call it 10. <laughs> call it 10. <laughs> I can't believe Sirius is standing and fighting there. Like, he didn't need to shoot Boomich. He could have just played a safe line, but AWP. Gets it done, 10 to four. Look, these have been close rounds. Very close. But this has been great from Big, just to come in knowing you're up against the odds. Also, when was the last time you had a series this dramatically weak from Electronic? Yeah, uh, it's strange, right? I, we were just praising him for his good online form. He's yeah. not getting away with any of his tricks here. Uh, Bit again, so two consecutive maps from Bit and Electronic as the duo, just not getting a whole lot done. But final round of play has started. And Na'Vi would love a fifth. Look, I, I still believe that Na'Vi can claw this back oh, and yeah. win this map, but it's not going to be easy. We don't know what type of T side Big are going to have, do we? The <laughs> CT side was fruity. I can't even imagine what they could have in store for us. Well, let's see. I do think a fifth would be a real uh, opportunity for Na'Vi. Remind themselves of what they're capable of prior to this one. Tabson just trying to pull his team even closer to that magical 16. Look at him go. Look this at him madness. go and he wins his duel. Not another, a dink instead. He's made Simple's life such a cruel nightmare. Sure, man, keep playing, but with five HP and a man disadvantage if you want. Uh, Gage just gone, hey, taps in the route, Tetris. He's gone, yeah, okay, I'll go shoot them, I guess. Here I go. Killing again. What are they going to do here? Electronic, sure, you're up towards Palace, fine. Perfecto, you're over towards B, that's great. Simple, you're in T-spawn with the bomb. Guys, you need some kills. You need something here to topple big. And right Safe. now, Tizian has this. He spotted the bomb. He knows where the bomb was going. Simple has to go back towards A. Perfecto has to go in towards B. Good find. Really good find. Perhaps the element of surprise, Perfecto. He had an idea as to where Tizian was, and that's a big win for Tizian. But now the A side is open for business. Quite the recovery from Na'Vi here. 
Electronic. Oh, and an uncharacteristic miss. He walks straight into the Keto Warp, but he hasn't been able to connect it. And now advantage Na'Vi in a large way. Simple caught out on his reposition, leaving Electronic the quiet. Four frags to his name with a chance to end this half with a win. Fake what? easy collection. And now walking into that off angle, a little bit of a gap, and Electronic will concede. And won their second game of play for Group C. Yeah, and that's been unheard of. Navi have been on a bit of a streak lately. I believe it's nine series in a row. So this would be their first loss. And the one expert odds, well, they have flipped and flopped right now. Navi no longer considered the favorites here. Bigger in the driver's seat. And we'll turn our attention to this pistol round. All right, Tabson, you geek. What have you called? Pretty standard stuff. Stack nades onto Boomich's corner. And simple, usually good for these. Usually good for these. Gaze got him. And he's just a little mid lurk. He's got so much to contend with. Electronic and Perfecto have to decide how they want to rotate through mid, and it's pretty hot, hotly contested. Gade ready to receive. Oh, nice oh looking good here. He's feeling fresh, motivated by the reality that's getting closer and closer with every round. Boomage down, and it's flawless from Big Clan Navi. I think they might be completely broken inside. Yeah, well, I think that that first half of Counter-Strike would have gotten anybody flustered, right? Under their skin, really just in their face. And, and Navi unable to convert in a bunch of close rounds with clutches in play. Now, I, I want to paint some context here for everybody. Navi are already one map down. They uh, lost the first half 10 to 5, and now they have lost the pistol in the second half. So now they would have to run it all the way back to win their map choice and then win on nuke. So the chips are definitely stacked against them here. Yeah. I will also say, and I'm saying at 11-5 on map two, the big clan have had previously, in the Zantara's iteration, an, an issue with closing heavy leads. Maybe Gade will come out and just clutch like three that rounds would be, or Maybe that's the missing piece just they never Gade's had. Gade's clutching. Because I've seen big clan look really convincing. And then as soon as you start getting excited about it, They'll show you how weak they can look. Well, we've had star level Tabson in the server today as well. Yeah. He has 150 ADR at this juncture of play. And uh, he's the one leading the charge right now onto the A bomb site. They've actually just thrown a fake with Util, and look now they that. are just walking in. Just the fakes alone has faked Navi out. They've headed to the wrong side. They've been out positioned. Just like us too. Yeah. Uh, and they get the first kill. So right now, Navi probably should save. Whether they will or not is a different question. Well, they'll I think be allowed simple to. Determinant. Yeah. He should be good for one here. Or none. Yeah, this this is just hold on to those other pistols. This is 12. I, I mean, they're running out of opportunities to, to, to for what I just prophesied or at least alluded to. They're going to have probably one gun round to start it all off. That's it. <laughs> it's not going to be easy whatsoever here for Na'Vi to get back into this. And now, look, for the context of the group and for the context of Na'Vi, just while they get these last few kills, this loss isn't the end of the world. They will likely still qualify, right? But for Big, this win could mean everything because we know how highly contested the second and third spot could be between the likes of FaZe, Mouse, Fnatic, throw Big into the conversation. EG even pushed FaZe last night. In terms of the narrative for today, Na'Vi needed this win and a couple of other results to go in their favor for them to lock in the playoffs today. Yeah. So they might have to wait until tomorrow. And the point you're making is only exacerbated by exactly that final point you made about EG. Because I want to make it clear, the EG that were playing against FaZe, that was them pushing a FaZe clan that, uh, you know, we already have been singing the uh, the praises of and already with a win under their belt. Yeah. If EG caused an upset against any of the names here, it's just going to throw the whole table into disarray. 100%. Now, Na'Vi... Got a couple of saved goodies here, but that's all they have to boast about. Quickly smoked off. Mid control being worked on by Sirison and Tabson. Now, throughout this half, well, throughout that first half, they were playing with no pressure. Now that they're on the cusp here, they can't let that pressure catch up with them. And it doesn't look like Sirison will. Just aggressively bounding in towards the vent room, gets an opener, and they set their eyes on the B bomb site. Just don't trip over your shoelaces here. Whatever you do, keep them firmly. I was going to say screwed. I don't think you screw your shoelaces on. Screw your head on, though. Yeah, you certainly will. In fact, they're trying to unscrew a couple of caps. He has, actually, with the partnership of Boom, which made it a competitive 1v2, but the poor soul's only got a USP. And Gade's in absolutely no rush, no hurry. They don't want any uncertainty, any lingered pushes through smokes. Boom, which in the meantime has been given some room to stretch his legs and a graceful strafe puts him on short. He might be able to get himself something a bit better than a USP with this avenue of assault. Never mind, Tizian more than ready for that. Drops him 
like a sack of potatoes. And the scoreline reads 13 to 5. The guns will come out. Simple will get his AWP. But this is feeling like the last ditched attempt here for Na'Vi on their map choice. Now, map number one, yeah, big and pretty good on Dust 2. They've been showing very good face on it yeah. throughout this tournament so far. Last time they played against Na'Vi, however, they lost 16 to 2. And now when you see Mirage come in, it's quite quite the change. I like the way Yanko summarized it as well. It's like, it's very unlikely when you've lost 16 to 2 against an opponent on your map pick. You, it's ever going to happen again. Yeah. And it's a good point, because I think, yeah, it really did inspire Big to come in with a boatload of understanding of how Na'Vi were beating them. And it's translated into a magnificent result for Big. I think the, uh, the impact of this potential win has been covered. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy what remains of Mirage. Oh, well, Electronic is dead. Um, was there any... Boomich could have smoked him out. Don't know what, maybe that was his smoke there that's front side that missed the molly. That was what I would say probably is much more likely of what happened Like there. he's hit the bricks and it's just ended up on default. It's, it's weird how that sometimes happens yeah. when a molly starts burning. There you go, the nods from Rush Sleep. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's weird when you see just a pure Molotov kill. You just ha There's some weird explanation. Something's gone wrong. What happened there? Something's gone a little off. Unless he's, like, flashed in it, which is a cruel fate. Well, they're clawing for info mid, and they have it. But if they step over that line, Sirius will get a kill. Tizian oh. caught sleeping. Yeah, Perfecto's turned his back, though, to the potential. <laughs> oh, game. hello. Yeah, and he's gone. The he's runway's a, open. Like, that's the B player um, who's just ran towards middle. And Simple's now pushing up in towards the vent room. If he slips on down towards window, he's in the wrong place now. He could have been able to oh, respond to you're B. you're right, dude. Now B's completely <sighs> open. Simple was the only one who could pose a threat. They've been sold on it his A player. It was a tactical death. It was a tactical death. They're my favorite it. kind. I have them every round. Yeah, yeah. he's thought about it. He's like, I need to die here. Well, uh, they need to save now. Yeah, they do. And that's going to put 14 on the board. This was supposed to be the full gunny. A chance for Na'Vi to start voicing concerns. Look, if I'm Tabson right now, I'm probably frothing from the mouth. Like, as soon as you have established that it is the save, I wouldn't want to send Sirison with the AWP hunting, but the other two of them could really go get stuck in, right? Because that's... This really feels like a stomping, right? Na'Vi were contesting those rounds, but they were always the number down in those clutch situations. Remember the Perfecto attempts? It was a one-on-two where they were flanking him. It was a, a, a one-on-three attempt. It was him and Simple in a 2v4. Like, there were rounds where they didn't really even have a good shot, but they were able to keep it competitive or steal it away. Yeah. So I'm going to do some quick maths here, Chad. All right, good luck. Uh, Electronic had 10. Oh, there's Bit the Miss Molly. Nine. There's Miss Smoke, even. Yeah. Let's do some maths. Poor Electronic. I said, how much did I say Electronic? 10? It was 10 on Dust 2. So yes, grand total of 16 frags in the series so far from Electronic. Mm. And a grand total of... Bit has six right now. Uh, and he had nine before, so 15 from Bit. OK, well, they've been kept very, very quiet. That is insane. Yeah, I haven't seen them kept that honest in a long time. Tabson, look at him. He was going for the aggress. We know Boomich likes it as well, I guess. In-game leaders. Oh, Simple had a chance for a second there. On the retreat, he will be flashed off and tucks his tail between his legs as he returns to B. Oh, he went for the wall bang. Simple just counters it immediately. Tizia neutralized and Na'Vi given a little bit of a man advantage, a chance here perhaps to strike for the sixth. <laughs> Tizian trying that trick a little bit. It damaged him. Yeah. Definitely damaged him. Oh, and it seems that Searson's AWP is also as well lubricated as Simple's. Oh, good reposition. Simple's doing it all here for Na'Vi. Yeah, I mean, we haven't had a Simple round. We're about due one. We're well past due. Let's see if he can close it all out. He's looking very active. He wants to try and hunt and push for this ramp fight at the right time. Good flashes from Big. They force him to respect. I think they aren't across yet. And Tabson's beating him out, maybe. Oh, it falls apart after all. Denial through the smoke. Big from Boom. It's Tabson, full HP and a dream. And that dream is for 15. Oh, Easy as that. Crisp. Anticipating Perfecto just quietly repositions himself to ramp. He knows the bomb is planted for him. He's opted for Tetris and Perfecto no kit. Every passing second favors Tabson even more. Just play that time, play that push. Expecting that clear from Perfecto. 10 seconds, bro. He's got to hold it. One fake is all he's got. He, all he can afford. He should run. And he that's can't. the easiest clutch of them all. <laughs> Simple's heroics don't even matter. 1v2. 15 to 5. Would you bloody believe it?
Not really. This is not the way I thought today's game was going to be going whatsoever. I thought we were going to see Navi, Navi continue that steam, that momentum. Their win streak of like, what, 60 not including Gambit, 9 including them, so 9. Just for a moment. Well, we've got 10 opportunities for Big Clan. And this one's one of the most appealing of them all. It's for Thamus. Light on the util department as well. In fact, already at the opening, what, 15 seconds, I see distinct lack of smokes, mollies, and flashes. <sighs> Look, if you're big right now, this is the round where you don't need to throw in any crazy maneuvers and aggression, because what you do is you wait for all that CT util that they do have to eventually be expended. You have so much more. You could throw out a double pump onto a bomb site just to keep them honest. You think that they might go for an aggressive CT maneuver, and when they do, you punish. So big, just taking the gas off of this one here to close it out in style. A 16 to 5 against Na'Vi on Mirage. In the last, I think it's 11 games of Mirage that Na'Vi have played, they've only lost it once. So it's a map for them as well that they've been winning time and time again. And this would just be quite the statement here from Big in Group C. So they are here to play. Dude, the only team that's beaten Na'Vi on, Gam on Mirage is Gambit. Yeah. And here comes Big Clan to do it with a whole lot of style. If this is the 16-5. Otherwise, that gap will start to get a little less impressive. Still all the more so with the scalp, though. And now, towards A, it seems to be the objective. Yeah, and look how many nades they have. They have every single smoke that they require. They have flashes, they have mollies as well. Uh, Big should get across the line here. Three players to receive them here from RV. Good work from Electronic. He Makes short work of Gade, and he pushes out for more taps and treated. It's Boomich again that puts the bomb on the floor. Kept even. Keto needed time. that, needed that. No time for Tizian to do anything here. He wants to die, or he wants to survive. Perfecto might catch him if he goes through late. Oh. Tizian. The clock dink from that range. Cheeky. All right, well, maybe they took too much time. Mm. Uh, you know, time yeah, can be a cruel mistress. Na'Vi know that better than most. Waits for no one, Jeremy. Yeah, that too. So uh, here, just stalled out. You can see these frags coming in from Boomich, and there's only roughly 13 seconds on the clock when he starts pulling the trigger. It's going to be difficult to get back together there. So considering Na'Vi was staring down the barrel of it, they uh, held their nerve. And actually, that's not a great situation for Keto. He's only looking at a deagle here. So you said that was one of the best opportunities for Big to do it. Na'Vi have a better buy now. The AWP back in Simple's hands. And this would be quite the comeback. I just think for Big's mental state, they can't afford to succumb too many on the comeback. And Sirson, he has been given a little bit of an intervention from a higher power. He's allowed to play on. And look, he's at the boot camp as well, everybody. So maybe that team mojo flowing today. Everything feeling all right. Was it Tabson's interview that, where you talked about Sirson being very particular? Yes. Okay. He needs a good mood. A good mood, yeah. He's like, he's the, the new second coming of Get Right, where NIP had to pump him full of McDonald's and ice cream. That's not a joke, by the way. That's actually, that's... You don't like McDonald's? Makes him play better, though. Simple does need to play a little better now because he's in a lot of trouble. Nice active peaking. He's ready for a third as well. He'll take the whole big clan if he has to. Trying to extend play. Keto will stop the run, but he's been swung on, and that just leaves that one HP on Sears, and he'd wish he had the bomb. He's so far up disconnected from the pack. Don't remember that one HP clutch, do you? No, and I think he doesn't either. That's going to be the save from Sirison now. So, okay, big. A couple of opportunities here, letting them go all right. But yeah, I'm going to start re reiterating what I was saying before. About the Navi comeback, ties it up 15 15. It's nah. gargantuan, nah, simple nah, drop nah. 70 kills. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But. He gets four around. The only way Na'Vi come back into this game is if Big Clan start getting into their little uh, double depresso. Double mode. depresso. Do they have that one for breakfast? Or? It's, yeah, usually to start the day. Okay. Double depresso. A double depresso. I, I think, right, still, regardless if this gets close, um, actually, I tell a lie. If this starts to get close, you know how close you were of winning a map that you probably should have never won. Uh, and then, 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 then yeah. nukes a blowout, 16-3. Yeah. They're, yeah. Me they're mentally out of it, checked out. Everyone's all quiet at the boot camp. No one's making eye contact. Yeah. 
Okay. You quietly shift your chair back to go to the bathroom. Everyone. I don't like that story. No, much. no. But There's so much I mean, tension in the air for that one. Just wanted to make sure that everyone's aware that it's, it's not out of the realms of possibility, especially when Simple's in the server. I would love to see Big Clan completely, you know, demonstrate that they are no longer the team that can struggle to just put the final dot on that final I. 15 to 7 now as Na'Vi with two in a row. So keeping track of that. Big have won their fair share of eco rounds as well across the Dust 2 and Mirage so far. Taps and giving a couple of taps for good measure towards that short side FAMAS. Searson did save the AWP though, so trying to find impact on that T side AWP would be interesting. You can see a little T smoke there, gonna get the CTs on A a little alert. Oh, he's getting a lot of room around this because that smoke was super deep. So it's actually given him avenue right now to flank B and wow. nobody's watching Alex. Yeah, and he is flanking. Literally no... Oh, somebody now. Oh, and but Electronic was HP. so low, bro. One bullet could have done it. That could have been his window into the site, into the flank. Perfecto looking very threatening here. A couple of deagles are connecting. It's all Gade, baby. The Gade clutch, perhaps. Alongside with Searson's orb, this is actually threatening. Na'Vi going to start running out of options. Searson posted up for the first. They're both coming through kitchen side, dude. Searson's orb is such a threat. And don't forget about Gade. His double deeg has got them into the site. The bomb now ticking. Kit check. Boomich is equipped. Both walking in from kitchen side. And Searson's called short. Clear. You can just worry about this door. I don't fancy their chances. Gabe confirms their suspicion. Searson doesn't miss. And Simple's got a clutch to save Na'Vi. It's not happening.